Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So in the previous video you saw that our eBay intake kit was total garbage and didn't work at all. So what I did, I went to the local O'Reilly's and I got some Spectre Universal stuff. I got a 8771 uh, adapter, so a 3 inch coupler. Uh, I got two of those actually. Then I got an 86981 uh, 90 degree elbow. And then I got an 8131 filter. And the filter is actually a multi-size filter, so hopefully it works. If not, I can take it back. That's why the receipt's here. So the eBay intake was 40 bucks. This came out to 71.22 after tax. I hate tax. Um, anyway, so I already got the silicone piece. I very, very carefully installed it on my mass airflow. So now I need to get a clamp on it, and then I can install the elbow on the car, and then get a clamp on it. Um, but first, of course, um, we got to get all this old crap out. And unfortunately, it's all mounted to the um, the uh, cruise control module, which I'm going to actually remove the cruise control module completely um, because I don't need cruise control in a race car, and it's dangerous because if it activates itself through some error or glitch, then you're dead. So we're going to take this out. We're going to pretty much just rip it out. Uh, I think it's just two bolts and it comes out. We're going to take this out. And then um, if anybody knows what this hose is, please God, somebody tell me what this hose is. Like, I'm assuming it's a breather hose, but I don't think it's supposed to be chrome. And I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to have threads on it. So I don't know what it is. I'm probably just going to wrap duct tape around it and hope to God it's nothing important. And if it is, then I got to come back and do it all over again. Okay, so I got the OEM intake out, and I got the cruise module removed. The hardest part was getting this disconnected carefully, of course. Then I got this fitted. It was a little loose, but I was able to get it tight with the band clamp. And I'm just using a screwdriver because you can over-tighten these if you use a uh, um, socket. So we got this. We're going to put the pipe, the pipe in. And then we're going to put the mass airflow on, and hopefully there's just enough room for that filter, and hopefully the filter fits the mass airflow properly. So, oh, and I, I duct taped this up. I hope to God this is just a breather and it's not that important. Um, I'm still, I messaged like three different people to try and figure out what the hell this thing is. If you guys know what this is, please God tell me as quick as you can. I have no idea what it is. So I've made some pretty good progress, but I just found that this wire is not long enough so I don't know what to do I've seen somebody where theirs is like this this is facing down I don't know if that's gonna give me the length I need um, it's a problem but I'm working on it so basically I got this one clamped down this one's about half clamped it's loose so I can turn this and then the rest of these are completely loose so I can you can see it's hitting here that shouldn't be a big deal but we're getting there I may have just gotten a break. This wire here is this wire back here. And they wasted a lot of like they wasted a lot of wire by routing it under these three items. But these three items appear to only be held on by two clips. So if I can try and remove the clips, carefully move these out of the way, and bring this wire up around top, it should be long enough. So we're gonna try that. Man, this is a total nightmare. So the filter has adapter rings, but the filter is so stiff. So, I mean, I was, the, ma the mass airflow sensor is a little larger than a standard three inch. So I was barely able to get the inner ring on. And then I had to get the middle ring on. So now I have to somehow get this outer ring on and hope it all goes together and not forget the hose clamp. And then I'm gonna tilt everything downward as much as I can without this wire harness like maybe turn this a little. Um, I left this loose. I might have to loosen this back up so I can kind of turn and down so everything will fit in nice. So I'll come back. Okay, so I got it. And to get, 
to get this air filter down out of the way, you can see we're putting a little pressure on this wire. So I'm going to take the MAF and spin it just a little bit. Um, so I need to loosen this back up and then I need to tighten this once I get everything aligned. God, that looks so much better than that piece of crap from eBay. And there we go. The wire is now off the metal. Um, I'm actually using this band and this band is touching this metal so it's not going to rub the silicone. Um, everything's tight. Everything's nice and clean looking. Um, <clears throat> the air filter is not touching anything. It's got some space from the alternator which apparently gets hot on these cars. It does kind of suck that um, it's close to the radiator where there's heat going to be coming out but there's also a lot of fresh air coming in around here. So I think it'll be all right. So let's fire her up. Um, I mean, all you're gonna hear is the leaking exhaust, but it's still worth firing it up. Don't remember if this car will let you start it without your foot on the brake and the clutch. Ooh. Uh-oh, that didn't sound good. Oh shit, I messed something up. Fuck, uh, get my foot on the gas here. Hmm, come on. Fuck, why isn't it idling? I messed something up. I wonder if it's that tube I taped shut. Okay, I untaped the tube. I have a feeling that was my idle air control intake, which is odd, but let's try it now. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, I killed it. I don't know. I don't know. Eh, garage is closed anyway. So, um... I'll see you guys next time.